Welcome to Tokyo Saurus. So what's up in Japan? So I'm sure many of you already know, even though Ash is sort of a loser when it comes to being a Pokemon trainer, but when it comes to physical strength, he is definitely strong AF. Inhumanly strong. We've seen him hold a Fletchinder before with just one arm, which means he's basically balancing 16 kilograms or 35 pounds on just one arm with absolute ease. Okay, that one is humanly possible, but what about this? He effortlessly picks up Pignite with both his arms and holds him up as if Pignite is a little baby. Pignite is 55.5 kilograms or about 122 pounds, which is a little heavier than your average baby. Or how about this Larvitar who is 72 kilograms or about 158 pounds, and Ash is carrying him as if he's a plush doll. In other instances, Ash can even climb a cliff with a Hippopotas in one arm and Pikachu on his head. Combined, they weigh a total of 55 kilograms, which is about 122 pounds. This guy definitely lifts. But that was the past and with our new Ash in the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime. At the beginning, he was seen struggling with moving around tree logs, which he was shown previously to be able to not only lift them up, but to also throw them as if they were just a ball. It seems like he actually lost all his superhuman strength at the beginning of the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime, as he could no longer perform those superhuman feats as he once did in his good old days. Ash was even labeled as a wimp since the beginning of the new Pokemon Sun and Moon anime. But fret not as fans of Jacked Ash, because he has definitely been working out non-stop off-screen ever since he realized he was only a shell of his former past, as in the most recent episode of Pokemon Sun and Moon, he has once again displayed that he has not only gotten back into form for his superhuman strength, but this time he's also broken all the records of superhuman strength he's done before, as he was seen holding Nebi in his palms as if Nebi was just cotton candy. Just how much does Nebi or a Cosmoem weigh you ask? Exactly 999.9 kilograms, or 2,204 pounds. Ash has pretty much broken all his previous records of strength by far, and has elevated to a whole other level when it comes to being able to hold up heavy Pokemon. Someone obviously had to post a screenshot of the part with Ash holding Nebi on Twitter, and with another picture linked to Cosmoem's weight to bring this amazing feat to the public's eye. And Japan was definitely impressed, gathering over 60,000 likes on Twitter in less than just two days. Gladian, on the other hand, still isn't very impressed with him, but he's probably just jealous of Ash, or maybe he's just focused on trying to save his mother or something. But to give you a better idea of just how much 999.9 kilograms is in the Pokemon world, it's about the weight of a Primal Groudon. Primal Groudon is a massive 5 meter monster that can stomp a human flat with ease, so it'll be basically like Ash lifting up a mini Pokemon Godzilla with not a sweat on his face to show. Seems like Ash has been training not to become the best Pokemon trainer there ever was, but more like the best weightlifter there ever was. Ash isn't the only one with superhuman strength though, as we even see Pikachu holding Nebi in his hands with not much of an issue. Could it be that Pikachu also has super Pokemon strength? Or could it be that Pikachu was Ash's gym partner this whole time? I'll leave that one up to your imagination. Okay, okay, I know Pokedex entries aren't to be trusted and the weights in the Pokedex are all wrong, and if you're still going on about that, you probably have a bigger problem than worrying about the weights of Pokemon in an anime. And yes, we can all tell, Nebi can float, but that's obviously not the point here. Anyways, what do you guys think of the current Pokemon Sun and Moon anime and Ash's new display of his record-breaking weightlifting? As usual, let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to drop a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you want to be updated with the latest that's going on in Japan, and I'll see you guys in the next one.